Hey everyone, welcome back to Triple Goddess Soapery. Today I am working on some product development. This is not a tutorial, it's just a quick little video to show you what I'm up to. I am planning to create a custom line of cement soap dishes for my shop. And today I just wanted to test out the process just with a very, very basic recipe and see how easy or hard it was and go from there. So this first soap dish is just going to be a tester soap dish. It is doesn't have any coloring or anything, it's just the plain cement. And I'm using a bag of cement, it's called Rapid Set Cement All. And I was a little concerned that because it was called Rapid Set that I wouldn't have a lot of time to work with it, but honestly it's super easy to work with and stays fluid for plenty of time, so that's not an issue. I also think it's possible that I might have used too much water in this, and too much water can make the cement weak, so we shall see how this one turns out, but it's only going to be a tester, so that's okay. For this one soap dish mold, I, um, I didn't weigh out exactly how much I need, but it was a little bit too much, but that's okay. So I'm thinking probably two, the scoop size that I used was probably... I, I want to say probably about a third of a cup and I two of them was probably the right amount to fill this mold because I did have some extra So basically all you do with this cement all brand is you just add water That's it and you stir it till it's smooth and you pour super super simple This machine that I'm using is called a how oh, if you google it you'll find it, but it's a dental vibration machine and It's not necessary, but it really really helps getting rid of the bubbles and the next time that I do this, I will bring you in a lot co closer. I'll show you how I mix the cement, how I mix in color, and how I use this vibration machine and really show you how the bubbles come to the surface because it's, it's really satisfying. And I did figure out here that to keep the trivet from moving around, all I needed to do was put a towel under it. So that's what I did. So this whole process took about 12 minutes from beginning to end and that was with recording. So it's a pretty simple, easy process. I think if you have lots of molds and a little bit of elbow grease, stirring up the cement and pouring it, you could make this very, very time efficient. And it's also a very cost efficient um, project. So I'm very excited. I'm super excited to get the rest of my molds and really start mixing up different colors and making pretty soap dishes. So thank you very much for watching. Please consider hitting the like button and subscribing if you're not already already subscribed. Have a wonderful day. See you later. Bye. Just quickly coming back to show you the bowl and say that cleanup is very simple. I just took the bowl outside and rinsed it with my hose and ta-da, just like that. Cleanup, super simple. All right, so we're home. Okay, and we're back. So on the Home Depot website, it says that this brand of cement is structurally hardened in one hour. So here we are at about the two hour mark and I've unmolded it and you can see it just pops right out of the silicone mold just just like butter it's awesome. So I have some 220 sandpaper. I also have 60 grit which is the rougher sandpaper and I don't know being my first time I'm just using the 220 just to buff the bottom a little bit just so that it's not too rough especially you know this is just a tester but I think maybe I should have used the, the 60 grit and just scrubbed off all the worst of it, which isn't bad, like it's still very smooth. I was actually very surprised about how smooth the um, cement was coming right out of the mold. And you can see when I show you it that there are some like little tiny air bubbles like all everywhere, so I don't know if I should have used the machine at a higher level or let it run for longer, but there are lots of little teensy tiny holes that are hard to see on the camera, but you can definitely see them when you're holding it in your hand. And also to remember when you are sanding cement, wear a respirator because the particles are dangerous and you do not want to breathe them in. But I will say this gets 10 out of 10 for how easy it was and how cost efficient and how quick it was just to get to this stage. So now I'm going to wait a couple days and then I'm going to use my sealer on it and we will be good to go. Very excited about this project. Can't wait to work with some colors and, you know, really, really get going with this project. Thanks for watching. 
Okay, and we're back, and it is, today's Wednesday, and this project was made on Sunday, so today I'm just going to seal it, and I put about two tablespoons of sealant in this um, cup, and I will say that's about one and a half tablespoons too much. It takes so, so, so very little, so what I think I will do in future is I'll make up a whole bunch at one time, and then I'll seal them all at the same time that way. That way I'm not wasting as much sealer. So it also is, it's very watery and, and milky and it takes very, very little to seal. And the instructions do say to apply a very thin coating. So you don't want to have any puddles. So what I'm doing is I'm just spreading it all on and then I'm kind of wiping it off a little bit. And I do this twice, which I don't think I do on camera just to make sure it is all sealed. And it doesn't take too long to dry. The first layer might have taken a half hour and the second layer took a bit longer, I think, because I was a little bit too heavy handed. But I am very, very pleased with how this turned out, especially for my first try. I also have molded two more tonight after I, after I sealed this one. One I used a little bit of black paint to do a marbling effect and I took it out of the mold at about an hour and 15 minutes after it had been molded and I sanded it right away and that was probably about 30 minutes too early. I probably should have waited another 30 minutes but it's all a learning curve and yeah so it's all going really well. And the second one that I made tonight I actually put a substantial amount of blue metallic paint in the cement batter and it really didn't color it at all and I don't know if it's because the paint color I used is just too light or the cement is just such a natural gray color it just absorbed the color I'm not sure so then I switched it up a little bit and I tried to do a blue marbling effect so we'll see how that one turns out but I'm really excited to make a whole pile of different um, soap dishes in different shapes and sizes with different marbling effects. I find this whole process very satisfying and 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 a very a very easy way to be creative. And I have put this one up in the shop now, and the rest will follow momentarily. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. And there will be more content posted as I go along. I have lots more soap videos to put up, so you will see those in the coming weeks. Thanks so much for watching and have a great night. If you feel so inclined, please um, hit the like button and the subscribe button. You'll see more cement soap dishes, wax melts, and soap making videos to come in the, in the next few months. Have a good night.